Hello everyone. Just check out the sun going down in the background. We do get some beautiful sunsets here in Clacton. Um, in about 10 minutes we're going to have an extremely low tide. So we're going to go check out under the pier. Um, also, I'm going to be getting a new phone this weekend. So all my footage is going to become clearer. So you're going to be able to see all these videos better people. But you might have to bear with me. Because um, obviously I've got to sort the phone out. I've got to get used to editing on the phone. But... It's going to be a lot better quality than this. So all I film on is my Samsung Galaxy S9, a pretty old phone. I'm not like a proper YouTuber who films on a camera, edits it and uploads it through a laptop or a computer. I um, do all my editing and recording just on my Samsung Galaxy S9. But like I said, once we get this new phone that I'm getting this weekend, our footage is going to be really clear. Anyway, the sun's going down. We've got about five, ten minutes before um, we've got extreme low tide. So uh, let's head to the pier and let's go check it out. Just check out that view, people. The sun's gone down. Absolutely stunning. As you can see, the uh, tide is fairly out. We're in the middle of April now. It does go further back than this, but we can actually see the cluster of rocks underneath here. But we haven't got much time, so we've got to head there now. But uh, I'll quickly let you uh, take in that view and we'll head down there and we'll have a little talk about my next video because I have a uh, really exciting video coming up this weekend. So just check this out people, I'm pretty much in line with a log flume, one of the lowest tides so far this year. But like I said, come the end of April we're going to get even lower tides. If I pan the camera around for you, I'll show you um, how far out I actually am. Just check that out. I'm pretty far out to sea. I've got to be a bit careful of quicksand. It's really, really squishy here. The sand. There's the end of the pier just there. But it sort of does this curve shape. It curves around. So even though it's uh, fairly um, out today, the tide, it still curves around. But um, we're still able to see the rocks underneath here so let's go have a look let's turn the torch on on my head because it is getting dark where the uh, where the sun has just set absolutely beautiful time to go for a walk people when the sun is setting it's so quiet and peaceful as you all know the pubs have just reopened but um, we ain't doing no videos on that that craziness but yeah over in this direction this is the cluster of rocks that I was talking about in my last video it is going to be noisy under here because of the log flume. You're just going to have to bear with it, people. But just check this out. We're still not able to walk around it properly. But this is where you get all sea life. I'm going to try and jump over a lot of these rocks. We're going to try and uh, make our way onto the rocks. Avoiding the water. I should have probably wore some wellies. It's like a little assault course. I'm gonna fall in, ain't I? I'm gonna fall into the water. Just check out the size of this rock. I just don't know what this is and why it's here. But there's, I'm telling you, there's so much sea life down here. What is that? It's really stunning. Let's get close to the water's edge and let's see if we can uh, pick up on any sea life. The water's a bit murky though, to pick anything up. Should have probably bought a crab line or something. There's a crab there. He ran off though, I see a crab here, run off. Climbing all over these rocks. It is fun, but it is dangerous. These rocks are slippery and sharp. What is that in the water? That doesn't supposed to be in the water. That looks like an old uh, sheet or something. What is that? You can you see that, people? Something's wrapped up in that. Oh, I don't know what that is. I ain't gonna touch it could be anything in that wrapped up 
Someone's obviously dumped something in the water. But yeah, like I say, the tide gets even lower than this, people. And you can explore even more of these pool of rocks. Because if I look up, as you can see, there's loads of these pools of rocks. And uh, you get loads of lobsters, loads of crabs and fish in here. I say one guy even caught footage of an octopus underneath here. We're just going to slowly walk around and have a look. Can't wait for next week when we get our better phone. So the camera footage is going to be better for you. You're going to be able to see everything, people, on my new phone. It's got four cameras on the back. I've already tested the quality out in the shop. Much better quality, much better footage. So you can all see exactly what I'm seeing when I'm exploring old buildings, graveyards. It is dark underneath here because it is night time. Sort of caught where the water is now. Got to jump over the water. It's like a little salt course. Let's check out these over here. These clusters of rock over here, crazy. It's just like natural what rock that's underneath the uh, pier, as you can see. Let's just comb over this just in case we see anything. What is this? Old pieces of metal. Wonder if I can flip that rock over. Oh, it's heavy. No chance of flipping that over. But I'm sure there'll be something underneath that. That log flume is so noisy. Unfortunately, the light on my head is dying, people. I wasn't uh, expecting to come out and make a video. I just see we had low tide, and I thought, why not quickly go have a look under the pier, see what we can find. I'm literally stuck now with water around me. It's like a swamp. Right, let's get onto dry land over in the middle over there. Just check out Erie it is underneath here on my own. It is dark now, people. It's a shame that the tide's so light when it's dark, but you can't pick when the tide is low. But it is such a beautiful night. When we um, exit out of underneath here, you're going to see how beautiful it is. What a beautiful night it is. What do we have here? An old anchor. It looks like an old anchor. An old rope. Probably off a ship. Lift it up. Another poor cluster of rocks. Can we find anything interesting? Apart from bits of debris like this, what shouldn't be in here. Look, it's not good. All the rubbish in the ocean. So many clams and things. Oh, gotta be careful, so sharp. And also what I've got to be careful of is the tide coming in quick. Now if the tide comes in quick, it's gonna go around the pier. And it could cut me off, so I have got to watch out for that. So I don't want to get soaking wet. Another old bit of timber down here. What is that?
So this is just a quick video exploring all of this. All the stuff he wasn't able to see last time. It's just a shame that it's so dark. Let's head towards the exit, people. And we'll have a little talk outside. So we went in when it was light. And this video's only been about 10 minutes, but it's already dark. Where that's, as soon as that sun sets, that's it. Darkness. It is a little bit spooky under here, and the reason why it is a little bit spooky under here as well is quite a few people have died underneath here, believe it or not. Kids have jumped off the pier. About um, three, four years ago, a kid went swimming, and uh, he went missing. His body got swept up underneath the pier, and he washed up about a mile that way, his body. Rest in peace. I don't know the boy's name. But you could probably look it up on Google. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. When we come out here, look how picturesque this is, people. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So quiet as well. Only noise. He's underneath the pier because of that log flume. Let's see how far we can walk out because we can walk out even further over there. So in my last video, when I explored underneath the pier, I was actually, uh, I ended the video up here, standing on here. And the water was fairly up. When I pan the camera around, you will be able to see how far the water is out today. And it even goes out further. See this bed of lake of water? We can, we're going to walk over there to the furthest point. But like I say, we have got to be a bit careful that we don't get cut off. Just check that view out, absolutely stunning. Right, let's head over there, people. Sunset in the distance, feet are gonna get a bit wet. I don't wanna walk all the way around a long way, so we're just gonna have to go around this pole of water. I need to get some new trainers anyway. Now the shops are opening back up. We'll go inside and get some new trainers. So I did say I was gonna talk about um, my next video people why it's going to be a special one so if you've been watching the channel you have, uh, would have seen my last episode on uh, my personal ghost experiences um, over the years and um, I mentioned the lady Susie who uh, gave me a couple of books on about um, paranormal activity in Clacton and Colchester I've been reading through that book and there's a ghost of a young lady and uh, we're actually going to go explore a graveyard, a brand new graveyard that I've never been to, people, by the way. I don't want to say what the graveyard is yet until I uh, go do the video because I don't want nobody turning up um, at the graveyard while I'm trying to video. But yeah, there's a, a young lady who hung herself near this graveyard. Supposedly, she haunts the graveyard. Um, that's about as much as I'm going to tell you. You're just going to have to watch the video next week. Hopefully, I'll have my new phone and uh, we can do that footage with my brand new phone so it's all nice and clear it's going to be a scary episode and uh, we're going to do some investigation and we're going to see if we can contact her and speak to her um, I think her name is um, it's a really really old name what was her name I can't think of it now the Swindon or something like that. really really weird name really weird name the Swinder or the Swindon something like that very unusual name I know but this lady hung herself in the uh, 15, 1500s or 1600s I do believe I will have the book so uh, I'll uh, read the book to you as all and uh, we'll have a little talk and we'll see if we can find her gravestone because apparently she was buried there but her gravestone is so old so I don't know if we will be able to find it but we'll have a little look around anyway I'm coming up to the furthest point that we can go so I'm going to turn the camera around now and show you how far out we are we're literally in line with the end of the pier so this is pretty much as far as we can go. This is the furthest land out. As you can see the pier in the distance there. We are really far out. I'll pan the camera around really slowly for you all and show you how far from the shore we actually are. And we'll have a slow walk back. So it's just gonna be dark. Look how far out we are, people. Absolutely stunning. 
Look at that sunset as it's gone down. The tide is coming in now. But it's so peaceful and quiet tonight. It's about quarter past eight. We're just gonna have a slow walk back. Absolutely stunning. The lights all coming on. As you can see. Who would I want to live in Clacton, eh? So I'm not even halfway back, people, and uh, I've got so much more walking to do. Look how far in the distance the actual water is. I'm splashing around, ruining my shoes. They're getting soaking wet. I don't mind. Absolutely beautiful night. I love nights like this. So we're nearly there. We're nearly back. Once we get back, I'm going to pan the camera around and show you how far the water actually is out. Oh, such a long walk. <laughs> Pretty much there, as you can see. We're going to get up to this wall and we're going to turn around. And I'm going to show you how far it actually is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on this camera. But just check that out. And the crazy thing is, it goes back even further than that. As we get towards the end of April. Anyway, as you can see, it's dark now. So, uh... Got to end this video before uh, you can't see anything at all. But like I said, um, got plenty more content on the way. We'll be going to explore that um, graveyard and uh, investigating and seeing if the ghost of Perswinda or Persuader, whatever her name is, we're going to get the book and we're going to have a look what her actual name is, is real. And we're going to go see if we can uh, find her gravestone and uh, see if we can contact any spirits. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, Please remember to like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time. Bye.